In this video, we're going to go ahead and put a Linux Mint 12 in single user mode. So let's go ahead and launch Linux Mint. We're going to let this boot all the way up and log in. My computer's a little fast. I kind of don't have the time to hold the shift key, click into the virtual machine before it even gets past the point where we need to um, hold the shift key and get into single user mode or get where we need to go, which is into Grub, where we edit uh, the Grub boot command so we can get into single user mode. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. I like to log all the way in. Uh, you could have hit the power button in the top right and hit restart, but let's go ahead and do that now. Click your username, shut down. Now we're going to hit restart. Go ahead and put your finger on shift key and hold it. Hold time. It's going to reboot and it should bring me into the grub menu so we can go ahead and edit the boot command. Alright, so now we're in grub. Make sure you're highlighting the first one, not recovery mode, uh, the first one, which is the normal boot for Linux Mint. We're going to hit E on the keyboard and now we're going to arrow down to the last line and then I like to just hit the left arrow so it gets all the way to the end. Hit space and type in single. Now after you type in single and it has to be at the end of this line. The reason for that is the end of the kernel line. Um, that'll put this into single user mode. Now after you enter single hit your F10 key on some computers like mine I have to hit the function key and then F10 to uh, use the F10 key. Other than that, it's a volume on mine. Now we've got to go ahead and type in your password for your admin, which is your root account. And it's pretty much the same uh, password. If you've changed nothing on the operating system, it's the same password that you set your login to. So I'm going to go ahead and I changed mine so oops changed mine so my password can be displayed on my screen so I changed it to this is the password I'm going to go ahead and change that back to the one I want so I can remember it every time and something a little more complex than that but that's it you're in single user mode now when you're in single user mode it's a different command prompt or terminal prompt. It's not bash, it's uh, I think it's called sh. Now the reason I'm saying that is let's say you type in the command ls to li or let's do pwd to list out what directory you're in. Now I just typed in pwd and you notice nothing is on my screen. I hit enter. It'll do the command and spit out my results to the right of the prompt which like I said it's not the same as bash it's formatted uh, it's a little over format so it so it'll print out like garbage it's not formatted to make it look clean uh, another command let's go ahead and do cd forward slash now you notice it updated the um, let me get my arrow back here it updated what directory we're in I went to the root directory before I was in the root user directory so let me go back in here and type in pwd, which will show you just the slash, which is the primary first top directory. And uh, we're going to type in ls to list everything in the directory. So now you know that we're in the first directory. Before, we were in cd root. Now we're going to list out everything in there because there's nothing in there. There's nothing in root. Just trying to show you how, don't get confused. You're, you know, in case you're doing this on your own and you notice, hey, it's not working right, it's because you're in a different type of uh, terminal. Other than that, that's your single user. You can do a few things in a uh, single user. You can recover passwords, change passwords, do a few uh, nifty little things.